Hi there and welcome. I'm glad that you're here. I know that your time is valuable and time is actually the only commodity that we have that is limited and that we can never get back. So again, thank you for being here to check it out and listen to a little bit more about what we are offering you. My name again is Diana Miller and what you are going to learn tonight is how to get more hours dedicated to your business without actually having to work more hours yourself, what network marketing really is, the truth all about it, what to look for in a company, and the benefits of this business model. But before we go into that, I'd like to just tell you a little bit about myself. I was a hairstylist for 35 years when we lived back in Texas. Texas is where I'm from. And now my husband and I reside in Pennsylvania, where he is from. We are empty nesters. And I was a hairstylist for 35 years. And I absolutely loved my job. I loved my career. I loved everything about it, except one thing. And that was, if I wasn't working... I didn't get paid. My income was limited and there was no freedom. If I went on vacation, there was no money coming in. If I wasn't standing behind the chair with scissors in my hand and a client in the chair, there was no money coming in. So though I was self-employed, it was never going to allow me a good retirement. It was never going to allow me the freedom and the lifestyle that I desired. My desires and the income that hairstyling afforded me, they just didn't line up together. So I was always kind of had my radar open looking for other options. So I'm curious if you've ever thought about this. If, and I understand this question isn't, of course, in a perfect world, but if a substantial amount of money just fell in your lap, whether you inherited it or whatever, just play along with this, what would you do with your time? I mean, would you, do you love what you're doing so much right now that you would just continue to do what you're doing and sock away the inheritance and the lump sum of money for some day? Would you quit your job? Would you maybe give to causes and volunteer for charities? Would you garden? Would you golf? Would you um, quit to stay home with your children and actually spend those moments with them instead of having to put them in daycare? What would you do with your time? This is something that I think we don't do very much anymore is dream because our dreams have just been shattered and we've conditioned ourselves to think that that is never going to happen for us. So don't even think about them, but allow yourself to just dream and feel if money were no object, if it were no longer an obstacle for you, what would you do with all of your time? A little bit more about our story. A few years back, my husband was laid off from his job. I mentioned that I was a hairstylist and he was an executive in the oil business and made a very nice income and he was laid off and our life changed in an instant. We were okay for a little while. We had to sell our home and um, eventually all of that caught up with us. The stress was daunting and we were sinking financially. Now at this time, I had been using Young Living products for a number of years. And I knew right then that corporate America was not secure. They did not care of about our financial well-being. It's all business and it was all numbers for them. And so our life changed instantly. And I knew I had to find a way to take these products that I absolutely loved and bring them to the people that I care about. If they were changing my life and I love them, then I knew there would be others that would as well. So I figured out how to make a business out of this. And it just seems like that no matter what you do to get ahead, there's always more month 
than there is money. Have you ever felt that way? It's really, really tough. It's tough to um, have extra money to be able to enjoy what you work so hard for, to be able to have a savings account, to be able to take a vacation, to be able to have car repair money set aside, maybe to even have a car that doesn't break down. The struggle is very real. So what is network marketing anyway? That's an excellent question. Network marketing is simply a way to take products and move them through the marketplace. Most companies, actually all companies, have an advertising budget. They will use methods of maybe magazine ads, television ads, commercials, uh, billboards, whatever. There's all kinds of methods of advertising. And they will use a large, large portion of their revenue for advertising. Well, in network marketing, they don't do it like that. They take their advertising budget, but they use you and I, their loyal customers, to advertise for them and they pay us the advertising budget. That's all it is, is a way to move products through the marketplace using the customers to advertise for them. It is a beautiful business model. We make purchase decisions. There was actually a study done a few years ago that the number one way that we make purchase decisions, I know this is certainly true for me, is referrals and personal recommendations. And the other way, this number two way, was online reviews. I mean, how many times have you called a friend or put a Facebook post, hey, I'm looking for a plumber? Or how many times have you gone to go on vacation or go somewhere and the first thing you do is look for reviews? for that hotel or that vacation spot or consumer reports for that vehicle or those tires, whatever. Those are the number two ways that we make decisions. And it's very natural for us to share the things that we buy, the things that we like, to share those with people that that we know and that we care for. It's, it's a natural thing. We all do it every single day. We network market every single day. There's just one difference. We don't get paid for it. If you had on, say, a cute pair of shoes and your friend said, hey, I love those shoes. Where'd you get them? You told he or her and she went down to buy them. And um, you probably would not be compensated for that from the store that the purchase was made. In network marketing, you're compensated for it. You may be wondering what are the things that you are important to look for when considering a network marketing company. Well, I think the most important thing is the product. Is the product relative to the marketplace? Is this a product that everyone can benefit from? It's not just uh, 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 for a particular gender. Is it trendy? Is it a fad? Is it going to be here today, gone tomorrow? Is this a product that is relative to the marketplace? And even more importantly, is it a product that you yourself would love and use even if there was not income attached to it? Also, the company. Who is the owner of the company? How long have they been in business? What is their reputation? Who is the executive staff? Are they trustworthy? These are very, very important things to consider. The baby boomers are probably the largest um, amount of population. Well, actually, now it might be the millennials, the baby boomers' children. But baby boomers now are retiring, and they are mostly sick and broke. And there's a couple of reasons for that. Um, They're sick because of the toxicity to our lifestyle, the toxicity in our products, and the toxicity in our food. And um, this is a huge, huge issue today. And they're broke because they just have not prepared well. Circumstance happen, life happens, 
illness happens and they just have not prepared well. I think that a lot of people think that you are going to need less money when you retire, but I differ in that opinion. I think you're going to need more money when you retire. We refer to this, the traditional uh, lifestyle of working, trading hours for dollars, we refer to this as the 40-40-40. And what that means is you take 40 hours of your week or more for 40 years of your life or more to work to retire on 40% of your working income. So if you are having a hard time making it now on a working income, how are you going to have any kind of comfort? And I'm not talking about extreme wealth. I'm talking about just a moderate comfort level. How are you going to have any kind of comfort on 40% of your working income? Most people think that they are going to retire and enjoy life then. They put things off. I'll travel when I retire. I'll spend time with the grandkids when I retire. I'll garden and enjoy my life when I retire. I will golf more when I retire. As if those things aren't going to cost money. I think you're going to need a lot more money when you retire than you think. And that's why this business opportunity, particularly this particular company, which we are going to talk about, is a wonderful, wonderful opportunity to build security and to just have a little bit of a cushion or more and comfort for the baby boomers. The millennials, millennials, this statistic was surprising to me. They make up 45% of the workforce. And look at that. There's 83 million millennials. That is a lot of people. I think the millennials get kind of a bad rap. Well, I personally think that millennials are very, very intuitive. I think they're extremely passionate and they're very creative. I think that they look at... Um, society today, they look at my generation and they think, is this really as good as it gets? And is this the only way to accomplish a goal? And so they use their creativity and their passions to make a better way. Society now teaches you that you go to school, then you go off to college and you invest tens to hundreds of thousands of dollars in debt, getting an uh, education in hopes of getting a good job, mm, that's not necessarily the only way. It's not a bad way, but it's certainly not the best way. And I think millennials are just very, very aware of that. I think they want a simpler life and they want a much more uh, fulfilling life and they want to make the world a better place. And quite frankly, it is that generation, the millennials, that the um, the buck has been passed to them. It is that generation that is going to change the way the world is today. It is their responsibility to make this place a better place. And I think they're going to do it. Let's talk about some core benefits of this business model of network marketing. Well, your income is not limited for one. There is no ceiling. There is no cap to it. Just as I explained about my job, if I wasn't working, I didn't get paid. So my income was limited. If I didn't raise my prices or work more hours, there was no way I was going to get more money. Well, in this industry, your income is not limited at all. There is literally no ceiling. You can earn as much as you want to earn. Your hours are flexible. You can work part-time, you can work full-time, or you can just work in your spare time. It is willable. Do you know that in the traditional job marketplace, that if something were to happen to you, or you left your job, you got laid off, you quit, you got fired, the moment you left that job for whatever reason, you passed away or whatever, that income would stop immediately. Well, in this industry, you can will your income to your loved ones. And not only can you will it to your loved ones, but it keeps growing 
forever. You can sell your business just like a traditional brick and mortar business. And something that I think is so much fun, you are Though you are independent business owner, independent distributor, you work together as a team. You work together as a community, and it's a community of like-minded people, which is really, really good. And it's in your best interest to help other members on your team to succeed. It's more fun if everybody's making money. There are so many travel opportunities. There are all expense paid travel vacations and retreats from the company. And Young Living is in 21 different countries and growing and opening up different marketplaces all the time. So you can build an international business. You can do a lot of traveling and have it be a business write-off. You can't beat that. Extremely low startup cost, very low overhead. In fact, your overhead is just the products that you personally are going to consume. Products that you're already buying anyway and residual income. Let me tell you a little bit more about what residual income is. The model that's probably most familiar to us all is investing. Let's say you had $300,000 cash and you took it and invested it. The interest that you would earn, probably two to $300 back, that would be the residual income. As long as you had that $300,000 invested, it is always going to give you something back in return. That would be your residual income. But if you don't have $300,000 cash laying around to invest, that's not going to do you much good. And if you did have $300,000 laying around to invest, how far is two or $300 a month going to get you? It's not going to go very far. Well, in this industry and in network marketing, your income grows and grows and grows and it just keeps on going. You are paid, you do the work one time and you are paid forever on the business that you did in the past. It's a beautiful thing. Speaking of money, we need to talk about the income disclosure statement. If you go to youngliving.com forward slash IDS, you can take a closer look at this and I really encourage you to do so. There are 10 different ranks in the company of Young Living and you will see them listed here from the lowest to the highest and you will see the average income and the high income and the lowest income paid for each rank. Take a look at this uh, form and pick out on there what amount would would resonate something in your life today. What would make a difference in your life today? Of course, we all want to be World Crown Diamond. But what would $1,000 make an impact on your life today if it came in every single month? Would $5,000? Look at the gold rank. How would $6,067 coming in every single month faithfully How would that impact your life? Would that be a little bit, make life a little bit less stressful for you? And you would maybe be able to have some money left over at the end of the month instead of having month left over at the end of the money? I know it would make a difference in my life. So we've talked about uh, the benefits of the company. We've talked about what the industry of network marketing is, and we've discussed uh, millennials and baby boomers. Let's talk about the company itself. Well, Young Living has been around since 1994, and they are founded by Gary and Mary Young. That is a regular mom and pop business. They have been living a natural plant-based product lifestyle long before it was cool to do so. And they have perfected it. They are actually the world leader in essential oils. And Mary is the CEO of the company and one of the number one women in business in the state of Utah. That is no small feat to accomplish. Young Living is a 1 billion, actually more than 1 billion with a B, annual revenue company. And this year in 2018, 
they are on track to do over $2 billion in annual revenue. That is unheard of for a 25-year-old network marketing company. And as amazing as that is, what's even more amazing is that it is still a mom and pop business. Gary and Mary are still involved in every aspect of the company day in and day out. In fact, Gary can often be found in the fields, working on the farms, um, building distillery equipment, repairing distillery equipment, teaching his boys to drive the farm equipment. Mary is in the office every day and they're very hands-on. I think that's fantastic. And Young Living has such integrity. They have a wonderful executive staff all the way down to their customer service is superior and they have superior products in the marketplace. They have products that there is nobody else that can compare to their quality and there's nobody else that can compare to their practices because there is nobody else in this industry that owns their farms and has in place what Young Living has. Now this business is built on leverage and I told you at the beginning of this presentation that I was going to show you how you could get more hours dedicated to your business without you actually having to work more hours yourself. And this is how it is called leverage. Let's say that you have eight hours a week to put towards your business. Well, if you bring on six business partners and I pick six intentionally because you only need six business partners on your level one to reach the top ranks of the company. Now you can have more, but to reach the top ranks, you only need six. So if you had six business partners also that had each eight hours a week to put towards their business, you now now have 40 plus hours going towards your business growth. That's how it works. So if each one of those six business partners also brought in six business partners individually on your level two, you would have 36 people. If those 36 people each individually brought in six business partners on your level three, you would have 216. Now it really starts growing. Remember, you're only putting in eight, 10, 20 hours a week, maybe towards your business. But each of these people are also putting in hours. On your level four, if those 216 people each introduced and brought in six business partners, you would have 1,296. That is a huge jump from 200 to 1,300 almost. And let's take it down one level further. If each of those 1,296 people brought in just six people each, you'd have 7,776 people on your level five, giving you a total team size of 9,330 members. Now that is powerful. That is leverage. And what happens is this is called geometric progression or exponential growth. It grows and grows and grows with you or without you and certainly beyond your control. It is awesome. So how would you get in the profit zone really fast? This is fantastic. Well, Young Living refers, or excuse me, Young Living compensates you for each person that you refer to the company and they decide to love the products as much as you love them. So you're compensated for that on every single purchase that they make forever, as long as they're involved with you. Now, if they decide to purchase a PSK, premium starter kit, Young Living will pay you as long as you yourself are an ordering member, ordering products every month that you are consuming for your personal consumption. Products like your toothpaste and your shampoo and your laundry soap and, you know, things that you're already using anyway. As long as you are active purchasing, using the product member, each person that you introduce to a PSK, you will get at least $50 
bonus as a thank you gift for referring someone to the company. So if you just got started today, say, and went and referred four people to this incredible product and this incredible opportunity, should they choose to exercise the income opportunity, right there alone, you would have $40 profit because as you're going to see in the next couple of slides, it is very, very low to get started in this business. They have an extremely generous compensation plan. And the compensation plan, by the way, is your business plan. So I recommend that you study it, that you go to uh, the website here on this slide, youngliving.com forward slash US opportunity forward slash compensation plan, that you go there and you check it out and study it because that is your business plan and that will show you how to put your team together and how to make not only help yourself make the most money quick but help your team members get in the profit zone as well because as I said it's a lot more fun when everybody is making money and our team the Orlypreneurs is there to support you all the way and we have a simple system in place to help you grow fast. So this is how you would get started. You would simply select one of the starter kits, whichever one resonates with you. The essential oil kit, of course, is 160. The nutrition kit, also called the Ningxia Red kit. Ningxia Red is an antioxidant juice that is full of nutrition and it's wonderful. That is 170. The thieves kit, also known that I call it, the healthy home plant-based product kit, is 160. So which one of these resonates with you? If you don't know which one you'd like to pick, then I recommend getting started with the essential oil kit. It's the most popular and then you can implement some of the other products on your next month's order. There is team training. One of the first things that I recommend that you do if you haven't already read the four-year career or the four-year career for women that you get your hands on on one of those books if the person that showed you this led you to this presentation has not already introduced you and turned you on to a copy of that book please email me at info at oilypreneurs.com and I would be more than happy to get one of those books in the mail to you there are webinars there is a plethora of educational uh, information, not only on the network marketing industry, but in Young Living specifically on Facebook, on the internet. There's webinars, there's events, there's all kinds of training. And uh, you don't need to know, you don't need to have a lot of experience to get started. That's another benefit of this business. In a traditional job, a traditional career, you need schooling, you need education, but anybody can get started in network marketing. You simply use the product, love the product, tell other people about the product and show them how to get started. That is it in a nutshell. So you don't need to know everything there is to know to get started. You simply get started because I promise you, if you look back at your life a year ago and then compare it to today, how different is your life? Is your income status any different? Or do you have more freedom in your life? Do you have less stress in your life? And how different do you think it's going to be a year from now if you don't make some sort of change? Probably not all that much difference. So if you wait to start a year from now, you're probably going to wish that you went ahead and got started today. And I sure hope that you do. So if you've been searching for a way to change things up in your life, to be able to help more people, to become the best version of yourself, to be able to travel more, to have a little bit of extra income and security and have more fun in your life, to learn and to grow, maybe this opportunity is it. So get with the person that invited you to this presentation and ask them the questions that you might have come up with during this presentation and they will help you. And if not, 
Again, you can contact me at info at oilypreneurs.com and I will help you any way that I can. And if you like what you saw and you're ready to get started, welcome aboard. I look forward to working with you. It's going to be a lot of fun. So above all, no matter what, I thank you so much for your time and attention and I wish you abundant blessings in your endeavors. So again, thank you for your attention. Good night. God bless you.